People always ask what I think are going to be in the exams, and this is my guess for C3 2015. So first off, I have to say that I'm not associated with any exam boards in any way. I'm just a teacher. I don't have any secret knowledge, any inside knowledge. These are purely just guesses. So please don't base your revision solely around what I say here. Um, these are guesses. I don't, I don't have any um, special powers in guessing. Um, revise everything. Um, that's really, really the best thing to do. But if I, if I was to guess, these are my guesses. So every single paper I've ever seen has a titration question on it. And it's going to be a big question. We're talking six marks here. I reckon this year it's going to be a method question. And you're going to want, you're going to, want to get your spellings of the keywords correct here. The other way that you can ask titrations is the maths question. But I think this year it's going to be method. Now, like I just said, there is going to be a big, big maths question here. The other two topics for the maths question are going to be bonds, energies, or titration. Now, since I've just told you that I think the titrations are going to be um, the, the the wordy question, um, I think this year's big maths question is going to be about bonds, energies. So testing for ions, this always, always, always comes up. It's really important that you know all of the tests for ions. What they're probably going to do is to give you a compound or a couple of compounds and say, describe tests for these or how do you know that this has this in it and this one doesn't have this in it. Um, so it's really important that this question... And you know your test and you read the question carefully. It's really going to be testing you. It's really going to be interpreting um, what you, in, interpreting what you understand. It's not just going to say list the flame test and that ions. It's going to be a lot harder than that. So there hasn't been a big question on this for a while. Um, so I reckon it's going to be a question on equilibrium. This is going to be worth at least four marks, I reckon. So you're going to need to know how um, temperature, pressure and a catalyst affects the equilibrium of ammonia production. Now, because it's C3, they're really going to be testing you. And I reckon one question, possibly the, a, a big six mark question, um, is going to be asking about your opinion. Um, it could be about water, the things that add to water, about chlorine and fluorine, or it could be about Newlands and Mendeley and opinion of them at the time. But opinion's quite a big thing. So I think water is going to come up quite um, significantly in this year's paper. I think it's going to be about temporary hardness. So you should know um, the difference between temporary and permanent hardness, the difference between hard and soft water, how we remove temporary hardness, iron exchange column, how ions, um, how water acquires its hardness through rocks, and the ions that are involved in it. So for the organic chemistry, it's a really good idea that you know how to identify each of the um, each of the three alcohols, carboxylic acids, esters, and that you can draw them. But I reckon this year they're mainly going to be focusing on esters. Calorimetry. Now, this has come up previously as a written, a wordy question, so I think this is going to come up as a maths question this year. And it's always worth, for a lovely, lovely two-mark answer, to know some improvements on the method. So I think energy level diagrams, drawing those is going to come up. I think that's going to be quite important. You're going to need to know endothermic, exothermic, and catalyst, and be able to point out the activation energy. So this is another possible six mark question. So the trends in reactivity, you could be asked to compare group one and group seven, or just to describe group one and describe group seven. There's a lot that can be tested about these. So this could be um, a very short questions, or it could be a big six mark question. And finally, a few key things to remember. Um, scientific spelling. So sp spelling of certain scientific words like burette and pipette and calorimetry, that's going to be really important. There are some big, tricky maths topics in here. So make sure you write down all of your working so that if you make a tiny, tiny mistake at the end, the examiner can still give you the majority of the marks. 
and read the question really carefully. This is especially important in the Unit 3 exams because they're really going to be testing you. They're also going to be looking at your use of language, sloppy language that might have got you marks in Unit 1 exams or not wash in the Unit 3 exams. You have to be really precise and really careful when you write things down. Thanks for watching, I really hope this is helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Share to help your friends get better grades. Any comments, corrections, questions or requests, down below please.